Hi, my name's Alison Nicholl and today we're going to be doing a super fun project. We're going to be making this lovely bunting. And today I've brought along a very good friend of mine. This is Jodie Sutton. Hey, Hello Jodie. How are you going? Good, thank you. That's what good. Now as you can see, we've used Christmas fabrics. But you can use whatever fabrics you've got at home. You can use fabrics in your stash. You can make them for birthdays. Easter, any celebration at all. It's a great way to liven up any room. Now, we're using the Christmas cheer range here, which you'll see here. This is available from our website, um, patchworkandcraft.com.au. Now, all I've done here is I've just chosen Christmas greens and reds. So, all we need to do is we just need to mark our template, our triangle, onto the wrong side of our fabric. It's really important that you use a fabric marker it's also very important with fabric markers to make sure please ladies test your fabrics because sometimes it actually will leave a little mark and it's obviously not, we don't want that to happen. So as you can see, we've pre-cut out our templates. So let's get sewing. So all we need to do is just right sides together. So we're putting the same back and front, but you same could change it if you wanted you to. You absolutely could. Okay. You can make it as scrappy as you like, okay. which is great for using up uh, leftover project scraps as well. So we're just going to go with a quarter inch seam allowance down those two seams. We are going to leave the top open so that we can turn it through and then we'll stitch it together later on to our bias line. So this is another really super fun, fast little project that you can do in an afternoon. You can have the kids help you cut out the triangles. Um, it's a really nice way to bring a little bit of festive cheer to, to any room, but it doesn't actually have to just be Christmas. Um, it looks great in the kids' bedroom, anywhere that you just want to bring a little bit of cheer to. Now again, remembering as we're going into a triangle shape, really important to make sure that your needle is in the needle down position as you go to that point, so that you get a nice crisp triangle shape, which is what we want. Back tack at the end. Back tack at the end, just to give a little bit of extra strength. All I've done here is I have clipped the edge of my point with, just with some normal fabric scissors. Just giving it a little bit of a just so that when we turn our triangles through for our bunting pieces that you get the really nice tip on the edge. So we're going to do another of our bunting triangles. Again, I've just right sides together, pinned them together. Now I'm going to give them to Jodie to do for me. Thank you. So I'm actually sewing a quarter inch seam today. Yep. And I've moved my needle over to the right. Yes. So I can actually use the foot as a guide. The side of the foot as a guide. Yeah, which is yep. a great alternative if you, if you don't actually have a quarter inch foot. A lot of sewing machines now do have that capability that you can move your needle over. And I'm sewing along the bias, so just keep just keep it nice and straight yes. and just be careful it doesn't stretch too much. Yes. Stop with your needle down, pivot and then go again. Just nice and slow and steady and it shouldn't stretch too much. I'm just going to do a little reverse at the end just to keep it Now we're going to attach our flags to our bias binding um, and all I've done is I've just pinned my flags onto the bias binding just so that I know where I need to stitch. We need to stitch right close to that edge there. To the, so you are doing a one eighth of an inch but you really are making sure that you're getting right nearly to the edge there. Start from the very end. Start from the very end. Okay. So that's another good thing. When you don't need to be doing quarter of an inch stitching, it's really important to remember if you have moved your needle over into that position, you need to remember to centre it again like Jodie's done. So then you're getting right up flush against the raw edge, which is exactly what we need to do with our bunting flags. Now, our template and pattern will be available online on our website, 
patchworkandcraft.com.au. So all of this is available for you, it's just a few clicks away. So this is a fantastic fast project that you can start on Christmas Eve if you need to, uh, to make sure that your home is filled with festive cheer this coming season. Today we've been using products from our online store, um, patchworkandcraft.com.au. This beautiful fabric range today is called Christmas Cheer and it is currently available, so head on over and check it out. It's filled with gorgeous traditional Christmas colours with some nice little additions of some black and silver, which is fantastic. And we've also been using our Ruby Threads range, which is another um, product that's exclusive to us. Now, these are our everyday threads range, which actually coordinates perfectly with the Christmas cheer. This is 100% cotton thread, 60 weight and available in 500 metre rolls.